This is unbelievable. Okay, good morning everyone from La Paz, Bolivia, the highest elevated city in the world. Today we're doing Death Road Tour. It's currently 5.30. Nelson, how's it going? Nice okay. to meet you. I'm making a video, so <laughs> it's gonna be quite the day. I'm joined with my dad here. So let's jump in the van and get it started. Okay, so the way this works is we have about a three hour drive ahead of us up through the mountains until we get back uh, to where Death Road begins. We'll be starting at about 15,000 feet of elevation. So seriously, no joke in Bolivia with the elevation. Uh, but we're taking this van with the bikes on top and we have pretty much a private tour uh, Only two other people joining us. So it should be a great experience Okay, we just pulled over to start our tour look at these views from where we're starting we're gonna be changing into the outfits for the biking and heading down this road behind us here so let's get changed and ready to rumble so safety is a pretty big concern when people decide to do death road so right now Nelson our guide he's gonna go over safety for us and we're just gonna show you how uh, serious they take the safety here protector pads for the knees the small protector pads are gonna be for the elbows but other than that we are gonna clarify the rules that we gotta follow pretty much the entire day the death road tour is gonna be divided in two sections okay after the safety brief now we'll get the helmets on hop on the bikes and pretty much we'll send it down this paved road for the first uh, 20 kilometers which quite a way is almost about 10 miles uh, on the paved road, then we'll get off, bikes will go back on, and then we'll proceed to the actual death road. But I mean, look at the starting point here. Doesn't get much more beautiful than this. So now time to hop on the bike and send it down. So sit back and enjoy these views. First section of going down the paved road is complete. Uh, we're just pulled over, putting the bikes back up. That might have been the no, no, I'm not. A, that was the most epic scenery I've ever had on a bike ride. I know I wasn't going uphill, but even going downhill is still absolutely an incredible. Winding through those through those mountains, uh, the video doesn't do it justice. So now we're gonna head back in the car and then proceed uphill to the actual start of Death Road. Holy shit. That's it over there. Yeah. We're on that land. And all the colors look a bit fresh. They do. Okay, we've made it to the start of the actual Death Road behind us here. Uh, so this is where the fun begins. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. a little statistic for yeah, you. Sure. It used yeah, to be yeah. that two to three hundred people would die on this road every year. So until they built a new road. So just to give you a little perspective on why it's called Death Road, that is why. So now we're gonna hop on the bikes and send it down the one of the most famous roads in all of South America. So here we go.
certain points along the way where you do stop to take breaks and take in the views. As you can see behind me, uh, Nelson, our guide here, has made sure we're safe the whole time. But it is nice to stop along the way. Your hands get very sore uh, going down this rough road. And it's just nice to, you know, take your time uh, on such an awesome tour. So here's another stop along the way. Pretty freaking cool. Now, another thing that they will do is provide snacks along the tour. Uh, so we have some jello right here. Uh, but it is nice to take some breaks along the way, get something to eat, something to drink. Uh, kind of breaks it up and nice to refuel. So I'm Drew's dad. And I had the pleasure of Drew inviting me to come along to this trip to Bolivia. Let me tell you something. I'm 60 years old. And, you know, you hear the name Death Road and all that kind of stuff. And it's like everybody gets all panicked and shouldn't come. So for you younger viewers of, of Drew's blog or vlog, bring your parents along. If they're able-bodied, bring them along and have them enjoy this experience along with you it makes it very very special <laughs> Okay, we just concluded Death Road. We all survived. Uh, what an incredible, incredible ride. We just finished up uh, down here in this small little village. Pretty cool ending point. It's a lot, lot hotter down here. Uh, we're at about 4,000 feet now. So you start all the way at 15 and come all the way down to 4,000. So the climate change is definitely a huge factor. It's sweating down here. Uh, but nevertheless, an unreal ride. So when you're looking to book this, I would recommend going with Altitude Travel. Uh, they charge about 85 US dollars for this tour. Uh, it's pretty much a full day tour. You get a lot of snacks. Uh, it concludes at a hotel with swimming pools and just an awesome experience uh, booking with them. The guide was great, uh, Nelson, so definitely giving him props and just a very simple, uh, easy process. There's a lot of other tour companies that do it, but I definitely recommend going with them. So uh, definitely look up their website. I'll leave a link below. And if you are still afraid, don't worry. It is very, very safe. You can go at your own pace. Uh, my dad made it down, no, no issues at all. So um, you don't have to worry booking with altitude. So other than that, yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope this was very informative. I know there's not many videos out there covering how to do death road. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, An another epic adventure. And we got more adventures coming from South America. So stay tuned and we'll see you from the next video in Bolivia.